When I first started writing on medium.com, um, I was like a lot of other writers. I hadn't thought about writing in a niche or niche, however you want to say it. And so I was just writing a little bit of anything to, um, to see what people wanted to read and to see, uh, you know, it's like throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing what sticks. Is that the right way to say that? So my very first article that I wrote after um, my cousin's husband uh, told me about Medium, about his experience in writing on Medium.com, um, my very first article was about one of our cats at the time. And so I wrote this little article in November of 2021, three years ago. And I titled it, I May Need Some Cat Vice. And then I'm just going to go ahead and read the article. It said, All right. yeah, it's an article because it's a story. I made it up, right? And this was actually based on something sort of true. Events that that happened at least from not, not the cat's point of view, but from mine. And so anyway, let me just go ahead and read it. Is it a bad sign when your cat starts covering up his food with imaginary dirt? I've been a cat lover for decades and it still confuses me when one cat will dig in like he's a homeless feline who's gone without food for weeks while the tabby sitting next to him looks at you as if to say, really, this is all you could find for me? I've been privileged to be the slave of at least a dozen cats of various flavors or colors and sizes. Just like children, each and every one of them has a unique personality with some eccentricities thrown in for good measure. Max, the grouchy old tomcat who is disgusted at the new kitten in your house and who will without warning reach out to swipe at you when you innocently walk by, the tired mother cat who adopts you and lays yet another litter of kittens at your feet as if to say, well, I've done my part now. Feed us while I go find another boyfriend. And then there's the cat who's always anticipating where you're going to place your foot next so he can be there. I guess the advice on cats I need is this. How would one go about convincing cats to leave home for overseas adventures. I mean, I'm willing to lay about on the furniture for hours at a time, but I'm a productive television-watching homeowner. Surely they can't be content doing the same thing. And in regards to the new batch of kittens, does anyone need a cat? And so... Um, I published that on November the 3rd of 2021. So what I thought I would do is um, just so that um, my, my children and grandchildren, I only have one at the, at this present time, but I thought what I would really enjoy doing is um, reading the stories that I've written so that they will have that as sort of like a video diary or video journal that they can go back and watch. And if you're one of my kids or my grandkids, hi, you should know that I'm really having a good time doing this. Okay. Now, one of the things that I enjoyed writing about on Medium was I noticed that a lot of other writers were doing the same thing and they were writing stories and articles about the platform itself called meta articles. And so, you know, that you could write about anything like what to write about, writing prompts to write stories. Um, you could write about the fact that someone clapped one time on your article when they could have clapped 50 um, there were all kinds of things that were, people were, and anytime the algorithm changed, all the writers would fly into a tizzy and you would see dozens of articles about how medium is changing. 
So I have written my share about those as well, as you will find out in due time. The second article that I published on November the 12th was called, Did I Just Clap and Comment on Your Article? After a, a few days of just reading article after article on Medium, I came up for air and decided that I needed to do more, more than just read. So many authors were pouring out their thoughts and their hearts into their work. I think I figured out where all those people from the Great Resignation are spending time these days. I've enjoyed reading those thoughts and feelings. My current goal now is to clap and comment meaningful, meaningfully on at least 15 articles each day. This is a little time consuming, but not impossible. It's very enjoyable. A special shout out to Larry who introduced me to Medium. Most of those articles will be from writers who are following me with a special shout out to Larry who introduced me to Medium. If you haven't read his humor, you don't know what you're missing. I'm working my way through a list of followers. Thank goodness I don't have that many yet. And if you haven't noticed a clap and a comment, you soon will. Does anyone know of someone else who has this goal? Does it ever get overwhelming? I'd like to pace myself. Here's looking forward to spending many more enjoyable days reading on Medium. Long, cold winter days are coming up, perfect for hot tea, which I happen to have with me, and curling up with a good read. Mm. All right. And that was the second article that I wrote. It did take me a little while to get started on it, but I had so much fun. I think at this point, as of this date, I have 710 published articles and stories um, on the Medium platform, but I also have written like mm, historical pieces and I've written, especially historical fiction, that appeals to me. And then I have written a little bit of poetry, but I'm not very good at it. So there is just a little bit though. And the third article that I wrote was called, Netflix is looking out for me. This is an experience that many of you have probably had as well. Binge watchers take note. My son and I were finishing up a long binge watching marathon yesterday. We're both big Star Trek fans, and this isn't our first go around with DS9, which we currently can view on Netflix. Along about 1030, Netflix apparently got worried about us and sent us a personalized message. And I took a screenshot and it said, are you still watching Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Press play to continue watching. And then below that is like, you should get some rest. Seriously? Oh my goodness. Thank you for your concern, Netflix, but we've got one episode left and it's happening right now. Sleep can wait. And then I put a GIF in there, uh, or GIF, I'm not sure which way is the proper way to say it. And it's uh, of Worf sitting at a table, having a drink and saying, impossible. Okay. Oh, let me read to you also at the bottom of my stories at the time. I've, I've changed my CTA several, several times over the last three years. But at this time, I was putting in a little call to action called, um, what was it? Created for You by Judy. Judy is a retired social worker who especially enjoys writing flash fiction. She loves traveling, sitting and staring at the ocean, singing and swimming, but not necessarily at the same time. She lives for months at a time with her grown son, John, who also serves as her IT guy and computer expert. Also in the home are John's eight cats, 
most of whom go by the name Here Kitty Kitty. And that is still true. If I say that very loud, you may hear a cat meowing. I know he's on the front porch just wanting to get in. All right. Um, that is all that I'm going to be reading for today. But I will be back again in the next video to read some more of the articles that I have written in the past. And hopefully you will come along once in a while for the journey. Oh, there's the cat. Gotta go.